Okay, we'll cut that out. <laughs> Hi humans, so I have just had an absolutely belter idea. Um, Connor's upstairs and he's working on essays and I was editing vlogs, uh, but I'm gonna go upstairs and distract him. And because of the beautiful kind of boy he is, um, whenever I go with a spontaneous plan of, oh I know babe, let's do this thing, he's normally totally up for it. Um, I've had bubble tea ingredients upstairs for at least a month when we went to visit Neve in Newcastle. Hi Neve, yes, even when you're not in the vlog, you're in the vlog, we know. Um, and basically, I want to make bubble tea, or at least give it a good fucking go. So I'm going to go upstairs and ask him if he will sack off doing his essays to make bubble tea with me. It's the Christmas holidays. So yeah. Babe, I've got an idea. Yes, sweetheart. Can we make bubble tea? Of course we can. I was hoping you'd say that. Bubble tea time. Let's go. <laughs> we are going to make everyone's favourite festive winter treat. Bubble tea! For the first time. It's probably going to go wrong, but let's see how that goes. Well, huh? Holly's going to make and I'm going to watch and assist. You're saying that as if I'm like a really experienced cooking professional, which I am not. I am the worst. I can't do things, you just have my love. <laughs> and support. And you just love. have my hairband. I'm getting so long. Okay, so this has progressed. We now have a pan. <laughs> um, we don't have boiling water in it yet, but apparently I have to boil these for like an hour, which, um, you know, could get tedious, but let's see. Um, so yeah. I don't have that much Take a day off, Gem. I always get beautiful angles of you. But not today. Oh, it's like when you win big at the slots. I've just realised I've put way too much in. There's no way we're going to eat all that. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to put some of these back in here. That... Save some for Christmas, babe. <laughs> oh, could you think we can have bubble tea on Christmas Day? I mean, that's the plan. This could take a while. So, I was gonna try and make like um, like a really like healthy, not sugary version with just jasmine tea bags and see what that tastes like cold. Um, and if it's too bitter, because most tea, if it's not got any sweetness in, is a bit bitter when it's cold. Um, then I'll try and influence it with some of this. this what with, is this? With Wittard's instant tea, cranberry raspberry. I've not had Very this nice. in years, but I used to love it. It's really good as iced tea. Of course, it's probably full of sugar, so that's why. What is that? It's just, what is it? It's solid. Uh. As you can see, it's going very well. <laughs> Because I'm not going to upload this all in order, um, you won't know who Connor is I yet. Think that, I think that's But if it. you follow my Instagram, um, at Mermaid, um, you may oh, have noticed... Oh, cheap promotion. You may have noticed that um, like I start, I've started posting boy-related content, which is very unlike me. Um, I'm not really into the, the PDA usually, but... Um, I don't know, this happened during Treasure Island. So, I'm currently editing Treasure Island vlogs, so if you watch the Treasure Island vlogs, the little easter egg is that you can see this relationship develop from awkward, and also his hair develop from skinhead to like, Look at this. voluminous locks. Um, yeah, you can see that develop, so that's nice. Um, and then by the time we get to the Will of the Wisp vlogs, which is the autumn show that we did, um, we're like fully a couple and we have our own like children and fan club as well. Hi Trials, love you. We miss you. What the hell is uh, that? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I thought that the colour would just... Um, I, uh, I didn't expect it to look like pond water. <laughs> Can I just ask a question? Are you in the weeds? I am in the weeds. I'm in the weeds big time. Are you under pee? <laughs> I'm under pee. I'm under pee and I am in the weeds. Oh dear. Um, so I don't know like how to separate them. If we have to like simmer that for an hour. 
It's a good job Mama Mama isn't here, she'd be fuming. Um. I mean, she's gonna be here to call the fire breed, so. You know. I mean, this it already looks wrong. So I got these um, tapioca pearls from the Chinese supermarket in Newcastle when we went to visit Neve. Hi, Neve again. Um, hey, Neville. <laughs> and I also got rose tea, rose green tea, which is lovely. Tastes like liquid Turkish light. Ooh, that would be a good healthy bubble oh, tea. Oh, she's on to something. Oh, okay. I think, is it burnt? No. No? No, it's just that's the colour of these ones. They are like black tapioca balls. They're meant to be black. I wanted them to be like goth, but they're... they're... Hang on, it's been five minutes. I would hate to see this after 60 minutes. That's gonna have to happen for an hour, so you may rejoin us when we find out if the frog spawn has become tadpoles. So, what's happened is the swamp has developed some kind of skin, which I assume is the starch from the thing. If I was going to do this again, I think I would rinse the tapioca pearls so that they've got less powder on them, so maybe the water wouldn't go as gloopy. Um, that's a top tip there from uh, the culinary master that is me. Um, but I mean, like, look at this, it's like snot in the most appetizing way. Um, I didn't leave it for a full hour, we did it for like 40 minutes and they're already kind of too squidgy in my opinion. Like. I prefer them to be a bit more chewy, so I'm gonna take them out. Like, what is Ooh, yeah. that? Mm, that looks nice. Mm, yum. Happy Halloween. He looks exactly like frog spawn. So, if that's if that's what your ch children are into. <laughs> So we buy your mum a new pot for Christmas Day. Yeah, there's like a weird caramelised layer on the bottom. Let's get a look in at that. Oh my god. It's definitely not supposed to be there. Meanwhile, these are. Holly? I don't even know if you're supposed to sieve You've these. You've created a mutant. I've <laughs> created a monster. Ah, <laughs> oh, what is this? All I wanted was some lovely bubble tea to be festive I've, with. I have, I have faith. I think it's still going to be really nice. I mean, the jazz. look at the jasmine guys. Look at this. I mean, that's on point. Oh no, the gunge! Ah! ah, it's burning my hand! Ha, ha! So, we were in A&E for about 45 minutes. Uh, Holly's got a second degree burns on her hand. No, I haven't. So, uh, <laughs> we're back now. Don't try this at home, kid. Oh, that seems like it's the right consistency. Okay, so now I have a bowl of frog spawn. Um, it's, I never said we were making visually appealing bubble tea. I think I should have put that disclaimer in at the start of this video. I never said it would be appealing. I just said it would have the qualities that bubble tea must have to be called bubble tea. So this says, and I think I can get this bit right, okay. So this bit says, um, three heaped teaspoons of cranberry raspberry instant tea from my tarts. Other teas are available. I pay for this, not one. It's mostly sugar, as you can see. The grains look much like sugar. Um, and um, yeah, it's like, it's like you do three heaped teaspoons to every 200 mils of water. Okay. 200 mils is only like that, so I'm gonna put six heaped teaspoons. A master of work. That was two you did. Three, four. I think that's six. Oh, it's okay, I don't want it to be too sweet. It doesn't say that it has to be hot, so I think you can just put cold water in this. I don't know when it's done. It, it, it'll be done when you can't see the grain swirling anymore. It's 
Shall I put it in a max glass? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> hang Wait, on, hang on. I need to spoon these in first. Hang on. Alright, I'm assembling. I need to create a visually appealing assembly point. Ah, with our really old fashioned phone in the background. <laughs> Yes, great. From 2006. This. That's so warm. No one tells you what, like, do you wait till it goes cold? Do you just do it? Can you drink bubble tea warm? No one, no one in any of the one tutorials that I watched, they did not explain this. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing. We all love a confident chef. I'm going to put the bubbles this Bex glass, which also may never be seen again. I love bubble tea, remember that. I can't, I can't wait to never drink a beer out of that glass again. Me bubble tea go way back. Oh, see it's still warm. What should I do? Should I rinse it? Put it outside. <laughs> Where it belongs with the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a pond, unfortunately, in which to hatch this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's um... Just see what happens though. I should have saved some ice. I used all my ice trying to cool down the jasmine tea. And now. <laughs> if I served this to you at a party, would you drink it? Answers in the comments, please. I mean, I know what I would do with it, but I don't think I can say that. Verdict? It's actually not bad. Now, if I mix the jasmine in, then it should taste. That's pretty bang on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want from a bubble tea. I don't want it to be too sweet because when you buy it in a shop, they oh, so syrupy. It would just be nicer, a bit colder. But because I'm impatient, I've just done it. The jasmine tea's not cooled down. I mean, how, I mean, how long exactly have you been saying you've been wanting to do this? I'm just glad that you've actually... That is at room temperature. If I, right, so if I put it all in the fridge now, and then come back to it in an hour and reassemble it, I reckon we've got ourselves a goer. I mean, I could have made it look more visually attractive by having a, a glass that was suitable for the occasion or using some dye to make the bubbles all one colour instead of this weird caramelised brown colour. But why do that when you're lazy and you're just trying to distract your boyfriend from doing essays? I mean, I'm much rather be doing this. I mean, can we start the next vlog right now? <laughs> I mean, who wants to read about boring privacy law when we can watch the love of your life mess up bubble tea? <laughs> Take a good look, everyone. Do you want to try it, babe? This. Do you want to try it? Is the woman that I'm going to marry. Do you want to try it, babe? Yes, I do. Yeah, it took you three three times to answer. Jasmine. An extra scoop of fox bomb. Oh, yeah. You know what? Protein. Um, this is going to be great for all our little um, goth babies. And his hair was perfect. <laughs> Go on, babe. Give us your. Give us your... I don't know why I'm stirring it. It's not going to make it better, is it? Mmm. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm. Is it better than the strawberry one you had in Newcastle? It's much better. Yeah, that one was like <laughs> pure syrup, wasn't mm. it? I can drink that, you know. See, it's not that bad. It wasn't a disaster. I'm really proud. Jim, what do you reckon? Oh, that's really nice. She is not interested in the slightest. I don't want to though, babe. There you have it, me, me, a culinary master and um, a, a satisfied Irish wolf boy. I am very satisfied with the outcome of this. Do you like more? <laughs> there you go, my Friday. D don't go out and have a bev. Make yourself a disgusting looking but very drinkable bubble tea.
see you soon, guys. Bye. Merry Christmas. Is that a Merry Christmas symbol now? Yeah, that's the Irish one, yeah. Peace. Yeah. Is it the Irish one? Yeah, it's me talking to all my two fans out there. <laughs> what, Neve and... Um... And you, because you're going to be watching this. Back and show. me. Yeah. <laughs>